Jones. Welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Um, we did want to address the elephant in the room, not us. And that is that the lighting is a little bit different in this one. Yes. One of the light bulbs, I think, is out of juice. So I ordered new ones today because I didn't know it wasn't working till I got here. Yeah, we're using a big and a teeny light. A so. big, a teeny, and the daylight. <laughs> so <laughs> And the sun. Yeah, it still looks good, but I just want to get ahead of all, you know, I liked this video a lot, but the lighting... I think the lighting looks good. Correct me if yeah. I'm wrong, but I think it looks great. What the so. hell do I know? So, yeah. but I bought a new light bulbs. So you wouldn't even have known if I didn't tell you. Literally. So everyone, <laughs> shut your traps. <laughs> Just kidding. For this week, we are doing part two of Would You Rathers. Yes. It was it was a fun time last it was. week. You guys really liked that episode it was a ball. too. Uh, so many of you were getting a little graphic about wanting to fuck Bowser. And listen. Not to kink shame you, <laughs> but I'm a kink shame you. What's wrong with you? You know what I mean? People were saying that they thought Bowser had a mask too. Uh, hello. But hello. You, but okay, when you said a mask, do you mean oh, like a mask allows me? I'm just kidding. Do you mean like a mask over his eyes or yeah. his mouth? No, his eyes. Because everyone was saying, oh, she's thinking of Bowser Jr. He had a little mouth, like a face mask on. And well, no, I already showed it to her. That's not what she means. What? He didn't always wear it, but it was like an accessory you could put on him. Maybe he had eyeshadow at one point. I don't know. People were talking. I just always thought there was something like right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's why I said a Zorro mask. I think they said there's other Bowser babies that perhaps those are who you're thinking of. Hello? Like, guess what? Someone literally wrote, hey, are you what? thinking of the Ninja Turtles? I'm like, yeah. no, bitch. I'm not thinking of the Ninja Turtles. Well, guess what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. I do. Don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> that big Mario wants you to think that he never had a mask. And he did. That's a true Mandela effect. It is. That's but only example. for you. Because I usually most Does Mandela it make effects. it any less valid, even if I'm the only one who remembers? Well, clearly I'm not because other people validated me. And they didn't believe me. They Googled it. Well, do you think I'm pretending to Google when I'm typing on my computer? I didn't believe Grow her. Up. Hey, I watched her type it in and I didn't believe her. So <laughs> I'm, like, I'm with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and also, this is so off topic, but I literally, we went to Vegas this past week. And when we were coming back, we were in the airport. And did you hear that person over the intercom? And they were like, uh, for the person who left a black iPhone, yeah. a TSA, whatever, they said it like five times and they were describing the phone case that it was in. And Adam was like, I would freak out if I left my phone. At yeah. TSA. I was like, me too. He's all like the fact that someone doesn't realize they don't have their phone is yeah. weird. I was like, same. Cause I'm a, I'm like glued to it. And I told them, but if they described mine, they literally be like, it has a chef Remy the rat on the back of it. <laughs> they don't know it's Remy. They're good. There's a mouse on the back a of this. A blue mouse with a chef's and he's hat. He's wearing a chef's hat. Looks like he might be in yeah. some part of France. Yeah, he appears to be in Paris. It says <laughs> Disney at the bottom. I don't know if that means anything and to I, you. And I, I was describing it and he was laughing and he goes, that would be so funny if that was the case. I was like, no, I was like actually describing my phone thing. <laughs> and he goes, bitch, what the fuck? And he goes, how long have you had that on there? I go, literally since my birthday, I put it on on my yeah. birthday because like my mom got it for me as a gift. But <laughs> He was like, you've had that? And I go, yeah. He goes, do you take that to work and stuff? And I go, yep. On the carpets. <laughs> I had, I have someone take pictures of me and they're going like so this. You, is this your move. king? That's what I feel all the time. <laughs> and then he's like, why did I never notice that? Well, because it looks so normal from the front. <laughs> like it just looks like an otter With box the black almost. bumper around it. Yeah, too. like it just looks like a black bumper. <laughs> I just remember that story. So That's really funny. I don't Would mind. you rather have Remy the Rat on your phone case or fuck Bowser? <laughs> stupid <laughs> i like would you rather that have nothing to do with each other those are way funnier yeah they're so funny yeah yeah instead of would you Silly. rather have rockets for arms or rockets for legs yeah <laughs> yeah donovan <laughs> nice try <laughs> okay we've gotten quite a few new ones we're up to 300 guys there's a lot Dang. in here so this first one this one's from matthew mm -hmm. he said would you rather have the ability to erase the memory of your experience of media so you could relive it again, like your favorite movie or series. Oh, okay. Or never have to experience bubble guts ever again for the rest of your life. Bubble guts, easy. Yeah. Easy, easy. Are you out of your mind? Drew already watches every show that she's already seen a hundred times. I re-experience like stuff time. <laughs> all the time. I rewatch it. I saw someone say that's a sign of mental illness. Okay. Yeah, because you don't like, well, which makes sense for you. You don't like not knowing what's going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
check us out. I will be talking about that in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> write that down. I write that down. There are some things that I'm like, I'm going to warm up to that with my therapist. Yeah. Well, <laughs> me too. It's been a year and I'm all, I don't know you that well. <laughs> I'm going to save the big stuff for the end. <laughs> I know. I always say the, the most problematic thing, or not problematic, but the most troubling things that are bothering me, my yeah. most challenging things, yeah. the last 10 minutes. Yeah. She's always like, why do you wait till now? And I'm like, I just thought of it now. So <laughs> we talk about it. Um, yeah. No, no bubble guts forever. Do you know how much more time I would get? <laughs> how much time I would buy back with no more how bubble How much guts? more joy I'd experience in my life? This next one's from Kelsey and they want to know, would you rather be able to take back anything you say or hear any conversation that's about you? Take back anything I say. I want to know exactly what everyone's saying about me. I don't. <laughs> I fucking don't. I don't need to know. You know what? I'm already assuming, so yeah, I don't think I need that I don't power. need that info. I want to be able I, to take back things I, I say. I genuinely, like, I live in a state of delusion that I wish I could gift all of you. <laughs> where, like, I'm so incredibly awesome and anybody else, like, outside of the people that I love and care about, dearly yeah like whatever they think about me i don't fucking care yeah. like it's literally like and it's not even that i'm like you're wrong it's literally like i don't care yeah what you think about me good or bad or indifferent um for people that are like that hate me or whatever it's just like i don't mind what people what people think about me is none of my business i like firmly believe that yeah so i'd rather be able given the chance to take things back because i think that would come in handy like if you embarrass yourself or something, yeah. you can take it back. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, I'd rather know what everyone's saying about me. Okay. Not me. I don't need to know that. This next one's from Lana and she wants to know, would you rather repeat your entire education again, but with the mentality of your current age, mm -hmm. or would you rather raise your parents as babies with your siblings? Interesting. I'd probably rather go through school. Yeah. I'd definitely rather go through school. Yeah, I agree. Cause I feel like if I went through school with the mentality I have now, bitch, I would rule the world. Mm -hmm. I'd be valedictorian at fucking Harvard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I would, I would be... have been gay a lot sooner <laughs> if I could do that's that. That's also true. Uh, there's a win on all sides. <laughs> Living my truth. Yeah. That's, that's T honestly. Yeah. I would rather do that because, well, first of all, I love school as a Virgo. I love school. So I loved, I loved going to class. I loved homework. Well, no. I didn't love homework, but yeah. like I did my homework all the time. So like, and it was funny cause I didn't ditch college, like cl college classes. I didn't ditch class till I was a senior. Me too. And even then I still didn't really ditch. Like it was just days I was tired because I was, I had two majors and I was like doing a, a senior thesis at the same time. Like when I was doing all that, if there was like, I had throwaway classes cause I, I flooded my first three years with all my credits. So I had throwaway classes. If I didn't have to go, I didn't go cause I was tired. I was, depressed. it was very rare though. I was depressed. That's why I missed class. Hmm. Okay. Sydney okay. wants to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sydney wants to know, would you rather be able to only quote the emperor's new groove or Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? I'd probably say Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, I'm a say Emperor's New Groove. As much as I love the fourth Harry Potter for quotes, yeah. for quotability, I'm going to say Emperor's New Groove. It's, it's just funnier. It's a classic. Yeah. It just, it hits hey, every time. Pacha. <laughs> it's llama face. <laughs> when he like slaps himself and starts having a nervous breakdown. I was like, it's so nice to see yourself represented oh, yeah. <laughs> on television. Okay, this next one's from Autumn. She wants to know, would you rather be itchy forever or sticky? Sticky. Sticky. I can't stand being itchy. When I'm itchy, I want to scream at the top of my lungs. Jason itches herself so hard, like... As an eczema. <laughs> eczema kid. No, not... Well, yeah, but I, I think it's, like, just a reflex now. But the way she scratches <laughs> is fucking hard. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've broken, like, nails. And then Michelle goes, what are you doing? I'm all itching my leg. She literally goes, like... <laughs> Like she literally, like it goes, it's so hard. I would do it on the mic, but that's going to be so to, awful to listen to. Yeah. But it's literally like, she's trying to scrape her skin off. I have to. If you grew up with eczema slash still have it right now, then you understand why I feel like that. But I bought an eczema lotion, so I don't itches, scratch my legs like that She anymore. itches every itch like that. It's not, <laughs> not her eczema. Like it's like any itch she has I on any to. part of her I have to. That's why like, if I ask her to scratch my back, I'm like, hey, can you scratch me? I'm like, ow, fucking <laughs> never mind. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So I want to like pick this the itch up and like, throw it. So that's why I'm digging in fucking there. Wolverine, bro. I have to. <laughs> okay, this one's from Kyle. 
She asked, would you rather be super intelligent, but a huge asshole or super sweet and nice, but really dumb? God, that's a good one. I'm also us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dumb. Depends on what you mean by asshole. Like if I'm an asshole, does that mean I'm like, like I'm condescending? Like I, I talked out to I people? I do like Dr. Strange. Yeah. Oh, fuck. And there's no chance to change. I think I'd rather be sweet and simple. Yeah, me too. Because if that were the case, like, I don't know any better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I'm literally, I'm so stupid that, like, life is awesome. And and I don't think there's anything wrong with that necessarily, as long as you're not ignorant. Yeah. But, I like, agree. if you're just, like, well, like, about everything mm-hmm. is, like, you live in, like, a an awesome world where nothing bad happens. Yeah, I'd rather do that. I think I'd rather live like that. Because I'd rather be known for being that than be known for being a fucking dick. Like, yeah. in that sense. And everyone's going to be like, you are like that. The people that hate me. But like, yeah, I am smart. And yeah, I am mean. But I'm also nice, too. Yeah. (laughs) The sex one's from Zach. He said, would you rather not be able to wear makeup ever again or always have to wear makeup, but it's always slightly smudged? Never wear makeup again. Yeah. I'd rather do that. Because I'm a natural girl. (laughs) Sometimes. But me, I just throw on mascara and chest and call it a day. I don't know how these girls... Do all this, makeup. all that stuff. I don't know. Like me, I've had the same mascara for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> My eyeliner is this big. It's literally, I've had it since 2003. <laughs> I still do it and I rub it on my face really hard and make sure to get, yeah. make sure to get premature wrinkles and I rub my skin really hard. <laughs> Girls, ladies, <laughs> and I've been married for 20 years. So. But my husband can't stand the sight of me. <laughs> and my husband, he fucking hates me. <laughs> and so do all seven of our kids. <laughs> but at least I'm not some fake lash wearing whore. Harlot. Whore. Okay, this next one's from Jacob. He said, would you rather have the most horrible smelling breath at all times? Oh my God. Or have the dried white white spit on the corners of your mouth oh. at all times? I'd rather have the spit. The spit, the spit easily. Oh my God. Bad breath. Nah, nah, miss me. I'd rather never talk again than to be known for having bad breath. People are asking me questions. And I'm like, I'd rather have my <laughs> mouth glued fucking shut than yeah. people be like, she's so nice, but her breath. <laughs> it reeks. It reeks. <laughs> like, can you imagine like being known for that? Like they're the like. yuck mouth girl. Yeah, they're like. Yeah. Oh, when she was talking to me, it's all I could think about. I couldn't even focus on what she was saying. Because her breath, her smelled, breath so bad. smelled so bad. And they were like, it sucks. I really like I'd her. I'd invite her on more, but that breath. But her breath. You could smell it down the hallway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd rather have the white spit in the corners of my mouth. Although that does make me want to gag too. Better than having stinky breath. The spit doesn't stink. So I'll take what I can get. <laughs> well, as far as you know. You wipe it, it might smell bad. <laughs> Ew. If you have it, you're dehydrated. I'm sure your breath smells bad, you know? This next one from Daphne, she said, would you rather always be overdressed or underdressed? Overdressed. I'm always overdressed. Uh, I'd rather be underdressed. I would rather be... Okay, what? Well, let me amend that. I would rather be underdressed for comfortability, mm-hmm. but if I'm being honest, I'm always overdressed, so I'm overdressed. I would say though, in the last like couple years though, I've been I haven't been as overdressed. No, nah, you chilled out. I've like yeah, I used to like I used to like pussy stunt bitch wherever I went. Like yeah. I needed to. I don't know what the hell that was, but maybe it was my phase. But I don't know. <laughs> I just felt the need to constantly be serving looks no matter where I went. Yeah. Um, and my idea of a look at the time was nothing, nothing good, <laughs> nothing stellar. It was all ugly. So maybe that's why I chilled out. (laughs) Okay. This one's from Alex. And he said, would you rather be your sister's sign or be your most recent partner sign? She'd rather be mine. I'd rather be a partner. would rather be mine. Than a Leo. Are you fucking kidding me? Mm. Yeah. I would rather be your sign. Than Billy's? No, no. It would either your your ex partners. Yeah, for me, for how I'm oh, oh. and then for you it would be uh P-Liz. Would I rather be yours or his? Yeah. I think I'd rather be his because he's so like whatever about everything. Girl, let me tell you. The way that I wish I could like 
not care about things yeah. the way he does. Like, and I don't mean like he's careless. I mean, like he doesn't get stressed out no. by anything at all. But then the things he does get stressed about, like leaving a hotel room on time <laughs> makes no fucking sense. Or the way that they're like, they check, you check out times 11. Mm -hmm. And then like, he thinks that if you're not out that fucking door before 11, they're going to kick that door down and shoot us dead in the He's hotel He's very room. much like a, a rule follower, which yeah. is really funny. About the most random fucking yeah. things. Like, like I said. The movies? Yeah, the movies. Like, you, you you buy your tickets to go to the movie theater and you get assigned seats. When we went to go see the new Thor movie, whenever it came out, I bought the tickets. Well, of course, we went the night it came out, so it yeah. was super packed. Yeah. And I told him, dude, just sit down. Because... Well, and someone was sitting in our seat. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we got bumped down. I was like, just sit down. And he was like, telling you, I'm not opening my candy. He's all, because someone's going to come in here and then I'm going to have to get up and everyone's going to see me. And I was like, what the fuck are you on, bro? I literally told him, then switch seats with me because his seat was the only one that wasn't. This is what bothers him. But then he goes to Disneyland knowing it's going to rain. Guess what shoes he's wearing? Crocs flats. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. And I literally have a picture of him the last time we went. And he literally tied those ponchos around his feet because his socks were soaking. Like wet. moon boots. Like literally moon boots. Like they looked like he had like a, like a Leah Core boots. <laughs> Not even. They didn't look like a Leah Core boots. They look like those booties you wear at the fucking hospital. <laughs> like you I'm just saying, put them over. That's what I'm saying. He will have a full blown nervous breakdown if someone tells him, sir, you're in my seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. but he doesn't give a fuck when we go to Disneyland when he knows raining. and we all said we wore puffers like I literally yeah. was like it's gonna rain today he goes I know and he wore fucking croc slides and his feet were soaking wet by the time we went home <laughs> I told home. him dude take your socks off he goes never yeah he was like I'm committed to them and I'm all just take them off I would rather have my socks get wet than my bare feet get wet by Disneyland water too that's true that's a good point but still like getting, no, go, getting on the Matterhorn dogs out with the croc slides <laughs> your feet up with the <laughs> your dogs fucking out oh my god that's gosh. so true like he he doesn't get stressed about by fucking anything at all except the most mundane things yeah. like the smallest things like if i say like i'm just gonna move tables he's like no no why would you do that why would you do that and i'm like it's not a big deal like it's not anything serious the hotel room thing drives me fucking nuts yeah. like i literally will send him down there to go check out so that he knows that they know that they're checked out <laughs> like he's like he has the info because otherwise, like, oh, yeah, like a perfect example. He gets stressed out about that. But then when we went to Black Adam, yeah. right, we were flying. This is a huge carpet, right? We have very specific outfits planned. I'm like, hey, because I see his thing hanging in the thing and his EFI conga, which is the it's it looks like a skirt, but it's like a wrap. It's like an e lava lava and his shirt are hanging in the closet. And I go, don't forget to bring those. Don't forget to pack those. He goes, I know. And then we get to the airport and he left the fucking, yeah, the EFI. Cola. He brought the shirt. Yeah. He brought the shirt. The the American thing he brought. But so I asked, so I was like, well, do you have pants that match? He goes, no. <laughs> Dude. And he was, he was, he was stressed about that after he realized it, but not stressed enough to like, you know what I mean? Be like, oh my God. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's why I love him because I need that. <laughs> Someone who doesn't give a so shit. You'd rather be a Libra than a Sagittarius. I think so, because based off what, how you and I are, I feel like he's, he's like the complete opposite. I'd like to know what that feels like. Sure. I feel like you're really similar to me. I know, but I think that's hereditary. Do you know what I mean? That's true. But no, there are a lot of things that you do that I don't do, obviously, because of our signs being so different. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, I still think you're a little too much like me. In the sense that, because I'm a Sagittarius rising. Yeah. So, like, I, I, I'm very confrontational and, like, uh, very, like, adamant about what it is I want and yeah. what I want to do. But I'm also, like, so trapped in my own brain. Mm. I think his would be a nice vacation. Yeah. <laughs> if I got to take it for a spin. I feel that. <laughs> okay, this next one's from Celeste. I'm going to ask you this one because I don't really know this one. Mm. But she said, would you rather never quote The Office again or never quote Family Guy again? The Office, easily. I'll give that up. <laughs> <laughs> Family Guy is different. And, it's, um, and again, I feel the need to constantly say this. 
I'm talking about the <laughs> the recent seasons of Family Guy where they're not like leaning on stereotypes to be funny yeah. and shit. Like they got rid of a lot of that shit because it's so problematic. But the recent silly shit, like the amount of times I've seen y'all be like, I don't care. I'm not driving. Yeah. That is so funny. so funny. That is unbelievably funny. Like, and for no reason, it has no right being that funny. That joke. <laughs> 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 but I said, I say that so many times. I've seen so many of you say it too. It's which so I love. funny. <laughs> that one. And what's the charge? <laughs> I literally, I hate you, that one. <laughs> when you post, that's not family guy, but when you posted that, uh, story of us at Caesar's Palace. Yeah. And I you was know, like, there he is. He's looking at the Caesar statue. Someone's like, why didn't you say how much? That's literally someone wrote, how much? And they put all these questions. I'm going to put that on my TikTok. That clip is funny. How much? How much? It works every time. For any anything you, you see. How much? How much? How much? State a price. I'll raise it. <laughs> Me to the fountain. How much? <laughs> Another, um, I was going to say another thing that Billy says when I say how much he says that quote from one million. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. From just go with it. When he's like, I like your car. Yeah. I'll give you two chickens for it. Yeah. He always says, I'll give you two chickens for it. Yeah. And I'm like <laughs> trying to jump on our bit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it would be funny if he said Dolph has zero dollars. <laughs> That's also funny. Okay, this next one's from Sienna. She said, would you rather sound like Squidward or Mr. Krabs when you walk? So you know Mr. Krabs? Squidward. Mr. Krabs is like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather sound like Squidward. The squinching sound? Yeah, because I feel like it's silly, the other one. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> it's like... Would my feet move like Mr. Yeah, Krabs yeah. too? Yeah, I'd rather sound like I'd Squidward. I'd rather sound like Squidward because that just sounds like like rain boots. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like... Meh, meh, meh. What I'd shoes do you have that make that sound? I was wearing shoes the other day that sounded like Is that. Is it your it Converse? Yeah, yeah. My my platform Converse. Like when I was walking, in, when I walk in the rain and then I walk inside, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. It's annoying. But I literally like I when I went shopping before we went to Vegas, I, it was raining. So I was like stepping in water. And then when I went inside, my shoes were so fucking noisy. Yeah. So then I stood on the carpet and I was like scraping my shoes a million times. And then I started walking and I almost tripped and ate shit because I was trying so hard to like make them not sound bad. This one's from Taylor. She said, would you rather be stuck in an airport Chili's for the rest of your life or only be allowed to watch Lemonade Mouth forever? The Chili's. The Chili's. I love Chili's. And in airport Chili's, listen, I've eaten at one. They're not bad. They're not that bad. And Chili's put some respect on her name. Some of y'all are mean to Chili's because you align her with Applebee's and she's better. Yeah. Or TGI Fridays. She's better Those than Those are that. disgusting. TGI Fridays, like, you know how they have TGI Fridays microwave meals? Yeah. They serve those in the restaurant. <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> it's the same food. Like, you're, you're just paying more for it. Like, yeah. go to the fucking Walmart and just pull them out of the fr freezer section. And that's your, close your eyes, you're at Applebee's. Yeah. When you eat it. You know what I mean? No, it's the same TGI shit. Fridays. Oh, yeah. You're out of TGI Fridays. Like if you just heat it up at home. Applebee's is disgusting. I don't care what anyone says. I agree. Unless, Not chilies. Unless it's a pancake breakfast run by the Corona <laughs> Chargers. That one's okay. But other than that. I only like okay. eating there when my brother makes me pancakes. When my brother has to stand there and put some flapjacks on my plate, then, you know, and I'm cool with Applebee's. It's so dumb because at that point it's not even apples. It is Applebee's food, huh? And then, but they're serving everyone. I don't understand. I don't get it either. <laughs> I genuinely don't get the point of a the pancake. The fourth year he did that, I told him, I'm not going to go, buddy. I love you, but I will not be there. That I've been to disgusting. everyone. I put in my time. That joke's going to kill for people who had brothers in like flag football or something. <laughs> Why is it always at Applebee's? I don't know. Why is it always a pancake breakfast? And you know what? I guarantee you that's not Applebee's food, which makes it even less... It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like they're just there in their jerseys with their hoodies underneath their jerseys and they're, sh they're <laughs> serving you fucking breakfast. Most of them haven't brushed their teeth. You could tell. Yeah. And it's they, too early. On they got Saturday. mocos in the eyes yeah. and they're serving you flapjacks at seven in the fucking morning. <laughs> seven in the morning. Like actually though. Because why? Because they have to be way before early opening time. Yeah. So it's like 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. <laughs> it's the pancake breakfast. What the fuck? I know. And they open at 10. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. It smells like a bar in there. Yeah, literally like a wet bar. Like they have to clean it. Girl. It's awful. My shoes are sticking to the ground. What's going on? That's just like how like one of my best friends from college, she worked in Chili's like, like forever. 
And when we went to college, she worked at the Chili's in Hawaii too. And like, I remember she was like, sorry, I'm probably going to smell like Chili's when I come home. And I go, girl, what? Like when she says that, and she did smell like a Chili's, like when she came in and she would hang her shirt out the window. So it would air dry it before she washed it. Like the food or the restaurant. You don't realize it has a scent until you smell someone when they come away from Chili's. No, I swear to God. She literally, if you've worked at Chili's or any sort of restaurant, like tell me if that's the case with you too. But she literally would tell me, like, I'm probably going to smell like chilies when I come home. And I go, the fuck are you talking about? The restaurant? Because I knew she worked there. She goes, yeah, because it was her first day serving. I'm like, okay. She comes home. She dead ass smelled like a chilies. Like when she walked in, it smelled like my room was chilies. That's crazy. Which is so weird. Yeah. And she would hang her shirt out the window so it would air off before she washed it. Yeah. And she's like, because I don't want my other clothes to smell like chilies. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? But she was right. That's true. I wonder if that's the case for other restaurants. I don't know. Probably. I'm sure it is. Okay. This next one's from Mia. Mm -hmm. She said, would you rather go on a date with your ex to a restaurant and sit for an hour in complete silence or jump off a cliff knowing that there's something at the bottom to catch you, but you can't see it. Jump off a cliff. (laughs) Yeah. That's Mm. yeah. Jump off a cliff. I mean, I don't really have an ex. So yeah, I'm going to jump off a cliff too. Sitting in silence is fucking horrible. Yeah. For an hour. Were you guys just looking at each other? No, thanks. Yeah, I'd rather jump off a cliff too. Okay, this next one's from Jen. And she said, would you rather be hit by a car or trip over your oversized pants in front of your entire class? (laughs) (laughs) That feels pointed. You know what? That sounds familiar. (laughs) Who are you? Who told you that? (laughs) As if we don't tell the stories on here. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Where'd you get this information? (laughs) Who told you that? Um, I don't, both are really humiliating. I'd rather trip on my pants. I, you know, getting hit by a car changes who you are. <laughs> and I think not I'd rather, in a good way. I think I'd rather trip on my pants too. I'm like, I'm gonna keep my story. Cause if I got hit by a car, depending on how hard it was, <laughs> I might freak out and I don't want to freak out like that. You'd rather get hit by a car? I think, no, or, no I'd rather the trip pants. over my pants. Yeah. Cause they made for a great story. I mean, both did. Yeah. But one has been <laughs> more mentally challenging to get over. <laughs> Depends on who like you Like, my car is broken, guys, because someone stole my catalytic lytic converter. <laughs> um, and the out of shops, they are saying it's going to take, like, seven months to replace it. I know. So I asked my dad if I could borrow his electric bike, and he said no. <laughs> that's the last thing you need, bitch. I was like, so I can go to a Target. Bike with, a bike with a motor, that's the last thing you I fucking need. I want to get a bike with a little sidecar and put my cats in there in little helmets. <laughs> Why? So they can jump out as soon as you take I off. I know. Like today, Papa was at my house and he was like, they don't wear um, collars. And I told him, no, I, when they were babies, I bought them like cute little Halloween ones. <laughs> yeah. And I put one on Henry. And while I was trying to put on YB's, Henry hated it. He was like hitting it off his face. Yeah. And then he moved it and it got stuck like on his mouth like this. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. in between his lips. Yeah. And then he was like screaming and running around. It was really scary. So then I was well, like, yeah. no And YB almost hung himself. Not with that. It was oh, on a curtain yeah. in my room that he shredded. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, oh, we didn't even say this. We watched the movie Megan. An icon. She's an icon. She's a That legend. movie is so camp. Like everyone, <laughs> everyone that said that y'all were so right. It's so, it's not good, but it is because it's so camp. Like it was pretty bad. Yeah. It was so, and it was scary. Yeah. Like scary in the sense of like what could happen with yeah. technology. Especially you know what I'm saying? She, like, because the way her brain is built, she can control everything. The lights, the electricity. Yeah, like she like or, infiltrated yeah. all the electronics. The car. But the way she's like adapting, like yeah. she's getting smarter. That like, was really creepy. That's yeah. literally why I'm like, stop inventing things. <laughs> like evolve us as a society, but don't don't create more robots. Yeah. Like I didn't like the ant. I thought she was mean. Yeah, she was really mean. I thought and I thought she was so selfish. Yeah, I didn't like as if her niece's parents didn't just die. I was so yeah. Confused. She was so like I have a job, and I'm like, didn't your sister just die? That's why like when when she got fucking read down by the therapist, the therapist like she yeah. was like, were your sister and you even close? She was like, why would you say that to yeah. me? And it's like maybe because you don't give a fuck about her kid. Maybe that's why. And she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, anyways. But I'll tell you what, the aunt, she's a lesbian. Mm. Here, here's how I know. Number one, she lives in Oregon. Or, well, they were in Oregon at one point. Yeah. Number two, she has green, sage green linen sheets. 
lesbian. <laughs> and a blonde ombre, lesbian. I'm inclined to believe you. And she wore flannel a couple of times. Almost the entire movie she wore flannel. So I feel like in- And she wore- um, um, uh, In the beginning, I was going to say, what was she wearing in the beginning? But I know she had a flannel and like a- It was like a band tee in lesbian. the beginning. Lesbian. <laughs> And so I think in the sequel, because I'm sure there will be a sequel, yeah. we'll get to see her have a lesbian lover. I'm hoping. I hope so. Maybe it'll be me, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Comment below if you think I should. <laughs> Tag the creators of Megan. Comment below if you think I should. <laughs> Stupid. Tag the creator of Megan and then see. Let's see. Let's guys. see if we can get this to 100,000 <laughs> likes. Let's see if we can get me to Megan. <laughs> I want to be Megan for Halloween so I can be annoying. That's my goal. Everyone's going to be Megan for Halloween. I, I told Jason that I was yeah. like, everyone's going to be Megan and everyone's going to be Wednesday. Yeah. I already know for Halloween. I have an idea. We'll see if I do it. Tell me and then I'll zoom in on me and mute you. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh, I wish you guys heard that. It was pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to be Megan for Halloween. I think I'm just not going to care. I'm going to do it. Cause I want to walk on all fours and chase people. I think that'd be so funny. Dude, the way, oh my God, bro. The way I will say this though, someone edit my face <laughs> on her when that boy was attacking her. Yeah. And then please she, and tag us. And she tag goes, us. you're a bad boy. And you know what bad boys do? They grow up to be bad men. <laughs> and she rips his fucking ear off. Don't spoil the movie. You haven't seen it yet. That's on you. And then Drew said, representation is so important. Yeah, and I said, how did they get this footage of me? No, and the footage of her chasing that boy, that's you. <laughs> Not yeah. even the dancing, just chasing No, them. the chasing. <laughs> like, when she's on all four, when she's, like, walking, and then she starts going, and then she starts running like that. <laughs> that's what they see when I'm when I'm looking for their videos. <laughs> it's me on all fours. No, when they see someone tag them in your videos, they're like, oh, no. Someone edit me on that. Please. That scene I can't believe no one's done it yet. That's so funny. Literally me. Literally, literally me when I. Literally me when. Literally me when I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mad Libs. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it, make, it makes me laugh when you just never finish the sentence. <laughs> literally me in New York like. <laughs> makes no sense. Literally me my mom and we. <laughs> it just makes no sense. It's so funny. All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little ad break with our friends at ZocDoc, which I'm super excited to be talking about because I know me personally, when I'm having health issues, the first things I really resort to is texting my family and asking them, do you think I have this from something I found on the internet? And all of them told me, no, uh, you should probably go to the doctor. So I'm super excited that we're partnering with ZocDoc because ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. So no more Dr. Roulette or scouring the internet for questionable reviews. With ZocDoc, you have a trusted guide to connect you to your favorite doctor you haven't even met yet. Millions of people use ZocDoc's free app to find and book a doctor in their neighborhood who is patient reviewed and fits their needs and schedule just right. So make sure y'all go to ZocDoc.com slash two idiot girls and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash two idiot girls, ZocDoc.com slash two idiot girls. Now back to the episode. Okay. This next one's from Ryan. Mm -hmm. She sent us one for each of us. So I'll read you one for you. Ready? Okay. She said, Drew, would you rather host weekly parties and every guest only brings a half eaten jar of Trader Joe's pecan <laughs> or learn to eat ranch with every single one of your meals, including snacks? Ugh, I'd rather eat ranch, wouldn't you? Weekly parties and everyone only brings pecans. I'd rather do that <laughs> because then I'm like, I'll just throw them all away. And then you guys, I won't provide food and we'll see who wants to come party. Was the pecan party? Was that the one that I came to? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes it was she's like i had some on the way over girl what the fuck <laughs> why don't you punch me in the fucking face that's, bitch? So, that's white people stuff it's such white people shit like don't bring anything yeah like i'd rather you bring nothing I'd at all be empty-handed yeah it feels almost almost personal like a personal attack to do that to me yeah 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 <laughs> okay so, and then this one's for me she said would you rather go the rest of your life without eating any beans or avocados <laughs> or only get a daily five minute phone call with Drew and it's not FaceTime and you can't physically see Drew. 
I'd rather not eat beans and avocados. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> than not see my sister? Yeah, I know. And we do that anyways. Sometimes we'll be on the phone for two and a half seconds. And sometimes we're on the phone for three hours. Yeah. There's no in between. No in between ever. Or the worst is when I call you and then you don't answer. And then, because this is what happens. I call her and she doesn't answer. And then she'll call me like two hours later and be like, <laughs> did you call me? And then I'll go, no, because I forget. And she goes, it says on here I missed a call from you. And I'm like, oh, wait, yeah. What did you need? I don't know. Then if she calls me and I don't answer, <laughs> I'll call her back like 10 minutes later. And then she'll be like, why didn't you answer my call? <laughs> what are you doing? And I'm all nothing. I, I left my phone in the other room. I didn't see it. And she's like, okay. <laughs> because here's my thing. If I don't answer your, if I don't answer my family's calls, I, there's something like I'm actively doing. Okay. What if I'm actively doing something? You're not. And that's the <laughs> thing. That's what, what I'm I saying. Am? Like this bitch isn't doing anything. It's because I'm single. You're being homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I know for a fact she's not doing anything. That's why. That's why I'm like, what the, where the fuck were you when she calls me back? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I'll call her twice and she'll, she'll like let it ring. She always calls me twice. This is what she does. She lets it go all the way to voicemail. And then the second time she ends it. I'm all, bitch, you're not fucking busy. I know you're not busy. Oh, it's because I meet you on the phone. And then I'll text her and be like, and I just sent her a question mark. <laughs> it's so mean. And then she finally calls me back and she goes, sorry, I was doing stuff. I'm all, what? What were you doing? And she goes, well, I left my phone in the other room. I go, so what is it? Is it you doing stuff or is it you leaving your phone? In the See? Other room? <laughs> but if she doesn't, if she calls me and I don't answer, it's literally because I'm like doing something actively. Like I cannot answer the phone. <laughs> Hers is like, she just doesn't want to talk. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Did I ever tell you what she used to tell me to get me off the fucking phone? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I would, she did this to me for so long until I peeped game and then she stopped doing it because she knows I know. But she literally would do this. Like we'd talk for however long and I'd be like, yeah. And there'd be a lull, like just like a two and a half second lull. And then this bitch would go, okay, well I have to poop. So that's, I'm not kidding. The exact sentence every time. And then I finally peeped game because then I go, you don't have to poop. You fucking liar. And then she goes, what are you talking? Like the way that she was like, what are you talking about? And I go, you only tell me that when you want to get me off the phone. And then she goes, I'm done. I'm done talking. <laughs> I'm like, Jason, what the fuck, bro? And that's that Capricorn shit. And everybody wants to know, why do you hate Capricorns? That's why. Because that's how all of you are. You're all the fucking same. <laughs> that's how it's like... That's why when she doesn't answer, I know for a fact it's because she doesn't want to talk. And then I'm like, I'm going to make this bitch talk to me because she's choosing not to talk to me. If I don't answer, it's because I'm like genuinely busy. Uh, sometimes I am too. No, she's not. Yeah, like sometimes I'm anytime in therapy. She, some, it's anytime she, I know what time therapy is. Anytime. What? 9 a.m. on Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, bitch. I know exactly what time her therapy is. So it's Friday night at 6 p.m. and this bitch don't answer the phone. Yeah, that's it's what I thought. because I'm single. She's being homophobic. <laughs> no. That's what I'm like. When yeah, because I- once I have a partner, I'm like, now I can blame them. <laughs> no way, because I'm going to get close to them like she's close to Billy and I'm going to know for a fucking fact. Like, um, I'll literally, that's, I feel the same way about her, the same way about my mom. Like, if my mom doesn't answer the phone, I yeah, get pissed. Me too. So I'm like, me what, too. Are that what are you I doing? That one I do get mad about. And if I call her, because I call my mom, she always answer. If she doesn't answer, I'm always like, what the fuck? Even though I know she's probably busy. But then I'll call my dad, but he never answers. Like, yeah. my dad will throw his phone in the ocean and not even know. Talking to him on the phone. It's crazy. Crazy. Like, typical dad shit. What? Let's go. <laughs> huh? But then my brother, like, this is my last like resort like if someone doesn't an- nobody in the house answers i call my brother because yeah. i know he'll answer and he goes hello right every time and i <laughs> go on that goddamn phone yeah i was like where's where's mommy like where where's she at and he's like oh she's in the room i'm all doing what because i know because <laughs> i know i just fucking put me on her. FaceTime. Like, yeah and i'm always like can you give the phone to her and he goes do you mind if i just hang up and tell her yeah. and, I'm all, and i always go no give her your what are you busy? <laughs> I know where we have each it's other. It's because he's in the middle of, of doing shit on his phone and he yeah. doesn't want my phone to be his phone to be used. Or uh we have each other's locations like as a family. Yeah. So I'll like message I'll like call my mom, she doesn't answer, so then I go look, I'm like, what are you doing at Islands without me? <laughs> That's rude. Yeah, Dason's like she's like the big brother in on that thing. Yeah. She's same on the ring. I'm like, what are you guys where too. are you guys going? 
<laughs> she's constantly watching where we're at. Where he's going. Oh, which okay. is so funny. Without but, me. <laughs> without me. But that's literally, uh, I found out Dason's tricks long ago. She fucking thought, huh? Sometimes I did have to poop. That was like one out of 50. <laughs> and she, and one time she said it once and it worked. And then she's like, I'm going to say that every time now. I already know. That's why I'm like, when I don't answer, it's because I, I genuinely am busy. When she doesn't answer, it's because she doesn't want to talk, which you don't get a choice. Like, I'm literally going to make you talk to me. So, or at least answer the phone and tell me what the fuck you're doing. No, the worst is now she only FaceTimes me and then she could tell when I'm not listening. <laughs> Bro, because she'll literally be talking. I'll be talking and then she's literally going like, uh huh. Uh huh. And she's going like her eyes are down and she's like scrolling. And I'm like, what are you reading while I'm talking? She goes, I'm not reading anything. And I'm all Dason. Literally the other day I go, I can see the reflection in your fucking eyeballs. You bitch. <laughs> like literally in the, in her iris, I can see that she's on TikTok looking at shit. And I'm all Dason. My brain is fried. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Tuesdays at 9 a.m. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> She got me there. Dude, when we went to Vegas, we had this Uber driver and he was telling us his life story. And he was saying that when he first went to Vegas, he was just doing poker and partying. And then Adam went, ah, the two Ps. I fucking hate him, dude. I fucking hate Adam. Well, and that's a perfect example of how Adam is like one of the funniest people I've ever met. He is just, he's unbelievable. Like, he's so annoying. But that's like, that guy was like telling us his life story, like against our will. Yeah. Like, it's like one of those things. Which it was is one like, of those things where he was asking you about you, about you so he could tell you about himself. Exactly. Yeah. Like, he opened the door so he could run through it first kind of thing. Yeah. But that was so, <laughs> two piece. Oh, man. Two piece. Okay, this next one's from Kadisha. She said, Would you rather scream at the top of your lungs every time you're excited about something <laughs> or fart really loud when you're slightly embarrassed? I'd rather scream. We were I'd rather do, scream. We already kind of do that, it feels like. <laughs> yeah, but I would rather scream because farting is far more embarrassing. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, just a little. <laughs> but screaming is hilarious too. Like yeah. it's just like anything goes right and you're just like, ah, yeah. Like just not a cute scream, like a horror Horrifying, scream. Horrifying, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like that. So like be... kind of unsettle you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, literally. This next one's from Cookie Best. He wants to know, would you rather control your future or your past? My future. That's what I'm in therapy about. Because <laughs> I can't control it. Yeah. That's one of the things I'm in therapy for. <laughs> Part of me wants to control my past, but it already happened. So I'd rather control my future. I'd rather control my future partially because I'm a Virgo, but another part is because, um, I firmly believe that nothing ever happens to me by accident. So I think that everything that has happened to me happened to me for a very specific reason. Yeah. And I'm thankful for that in a, in a way. So, um, even if I wasn't thankful at the time, I'm thankful for it now. Yeah. So yeah, I'd rather control the future. Me too. Me too. Cause then I could pick a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking dumb. Because I get from my past, I'd get rid of a couple of girlfriends. Okay, this yeah. next one's from, I think it's Rihanna. Mm -hmm. um, and she said, would you rather have Phineas and Ferb as your brothers or Finn and Jake from Adventure Time? Interesting. I think I'd rather have Finn and Jake. Because I feel like we would go on adventures where I feel like Phineas and Ferb would stress me the fuck out. And gaslight you. Yeah, I would literally be Candace. The way that they fucked her up so bad, like that would be me because yeah. she's like, she's just trying to hold it down. She's trying to hold down the fort and they're doing all this crazy illegal shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'd rather have Finn and Jake because they're silly and they ha they go on adventures. I agree. Yeah. So we're going to end on this one. This one's from Grace. Mm -hmm. She said, would you rather have an owl living in your bedroom hooting all night for the rest Ugh. of your life or find one lizard in your bed each year. It's a random night each time and of various sizes. So it could be a gecko or it could be a Komodo dragon. Oh my God. Horror. But it's only one lizard in your bed every year. Horror. I'd rather have the lizard. I hate reptiles and I hate birds. So it's a real like the The terrible. owl's going to be in there for the rest of your life. Wouldn't you rather just one random day of the year? No, because what if that bitch is a Komodo dragon, bro? But they're not poison. These ones don't kill you. Komodo dragons are carnivores. Okay, well, the <laughs> one she's putting here can't kill you. They attack you. Not always. They had that nice Girl. one at the pet store. <laughs> 
He was raised around. in domestic environment. Okay, well, all the all captivity. Of it, yeah, all the lizards that go in there won't kill you. But I hate lizards. I watched this guy. On Listen, TikTok. I know people are gonna be like, "Why, why, why do you hate?" I just do. Okay, I don't need a reason. That's how I feel about frogs. They'll scare me. It, I feel and like turtles. I feel like that about a lot of animals that are not mammals, and yeah. I will not apologize for that. I fear them. It's not that I'm like. Ooh, disgusting. I'm afraid of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think that they're smarter than people give them credit for. And therefore, I'm afraid. Yeah, I see that. I just watched this guy on TikTok. He was showing all these, like, snake eggs that he's helping a snake hatch. hatch. And when I see all- spiders a lot. Like, people <clears throat> who have, um, they, like, have a little pet spider. And then they, like, get all her babies out of her, her cocoon or whatever the fuck. Her little nest. It's pretty fucking gnarly. But I see when I saw this girl, she's like, my snail laid eggs. Like she put a snail in her aquarium. Fish are so gross. I never want to see a fish. Yeah, fish life. scare the fuck out of me too. But like, I watched that guy with the snake eggs and I was like, I want baby snakes. See, the tea about this is I used to be really afraid of snakes when I was a kid. I'm not nearly as afraid of snakes anymore than I am of like birds or like lizards. Like I don't, mm. they scare me more than snakes do. If I'm being honest, like, I'm not going to choose to be around a snake, but if I had the choice, I would pick a snake over a bird. Like I saw this one lady on TikTok who has like a whole house and the whole lower level, like she has like a, a basement house. It's like, it's like a separate living quarters, nothing but birds. She has 30 plus birds. Like Ew. they're like macaws or whatever parrots. It probably stinks. Yeah. It's, and it's loud. Yeah. Like they're like, ah, down there oh all my night. God. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't mean to do that. That was so loud for no reason. That made me so mad right I'm now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. We should end it right there. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't mean to do that. That's what that bird that you're gonna let sleep in your room every night. That's what they just yell at you. they just say who or whatever. They no, don't scream. it's gonna. But bird, but owls. It's gonna guffaw. <laughs> but owls are so scary. I know their heads turn all the way around, bitch. Like, and they have big old eyes. You Quit look staring at me. You with them look big like an eyes. owl, so you should. I have an afraid. owl that lives in here already. I don't need another one. <laughs> His name's Squid. Squid. <laughs> <laughs> There's this family guy thing where he goes. Stewie walks up to Brian. He goes, Hey, can you help me with this? He goes, I can't right now. I'm busy writing. I'm like, I'm in the zone. Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's like on his laptop. This is what's what's his name? Brian? Brian the okay. dog. And Stewie goes, I can literally see the reflection of the porn you're watching in your big wet dog eyes. <laughs> And he literally goes, and that's enough for today. And he goes, <laughs> so me and Billy always go, well, your big wet dog eyes. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. What would you pick after all of that? Can I control the owl? No. <sighs> he hoots in your room all night. I rest. know, but like, does it come near me or does it just stand there and it hoots? I'm just going to say it stands in the corner of your room. Oh, that's so scary. He has like a perch up there or something. Can I kill myself? No. Damn. Do the lizard. And you find it in your bed. You don't have to sleep with it. You find it. You go, ah, get out. I saw you. <laughs> Hit the road. All right. I'll pick the lizard. Yeah. Yeah. The- you just put the squid in the bed and he'll eat this lizard for you. <laughs> that's true. He'd probably get scared of it. And Billy would be like, that's a yellow spotted belly. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. I do have, I live with fucking <laughs> the animal identifier. So yeah, right. Okay. I picked the lizard. I picked the lizard. Good choice. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of two idiot girls. We hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Um, check our Instagram to look out for the next topic for the next couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. You'll see it on there with the Google form per usual. But other than that, we hope you have a great week. If you enjoyed this episode, you can stream all episodes ever. You can listen to podcasts and you can always find the video version on our YouTube channel. But other than that, we love you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.